Well, with so much bad news in the motherfucking media these days, and I'm constantly just, it's a constant state of bringing out bad shit. Every once in a while, it's nice to be able to bring in some good news to you individuals. So here's some good news. U.S. reaches deal to lift steel and aluminum tariffs on Canada and Mexico. Now, see, here's the thing, right? See, economists are what I call um, retarded, okay? In particular, leftist economists and the individuals who have been on CNN and MSNBC and Fox News, right? Because what they did was is they stood here and were ringing out going, Acting like we were using tariffs as a way to generate revenue, okay? Because that's not really the deal. What we were doing is we were using tariffs to stand here and get other individuals to remove theirs. It's a very basic premise. We go, look, we know you need goods, all right? And you know we would like to have your goods. And the thing is, we don't have any tariffs on your stuff coming in, but you have tariffs on our stuff going into your countries, all right, to protect your economy. And this is half the reason why the rest of these economies are dog shit. So basically, what we're doing is we're opening up the free market in other individuals' countries, all right? This is how the free market operates. And it's going to help them in the long run, and it's going to help us in the long run. And it'll allow them to generate more jobs and not be so fucking socialist and move us back away from this ideology that we must rely upon the government for everything. So the United States has reached a deal to remove steel and aluminum tariffs on Canada and Mexico. The duties were a major obstacle to passing the United States Mexico Canada agreement updates to the North American free trade agreement. So. The United States has reached a deal to lift steel and aluminum tariffs on Canada and Mexico, removing one key obstacle to passing updates to the North American Free Trade Agreement. In a joint statement Friday, the Can Canadian and American government said the U.S. Will scrap, metals, will scrap the metals duty within two days. Canada will remove tariffs levied on American goods in retaliation for the steel and aluminum duties. The countries will also drop all pending litigation in the World Trade Organization related to tariffs, set up measures to prevent the importation of aluminum or steel that is unfairly subsidized or sold at dumped prices, and prevent the misshipment of aluminum and steel made outside of Canada or the United States to, the other, to other countries. Make an agreed upon process for monitoring aluminum steel trade between them. Very basic premise, all right? Like, yo, we're going to have free fucking trade, all right? There's no more protectionism, which is fucking beautiful. And this allows individuals to stand here and compete with America on a flat and open ground and allows us to be able to sell our goods to other countries. See, the reason why we're the large, world's largest debtor nation isn't because of the fact that, you know, I mean, we're spending, you know, I mean, a whole bunch of fucking money. It's because of the fact we're spending a whole bunch of money and nobody's buying our shit. We're just buying everybody else's shit. In a separate statement, the Mexican government also said it would remove retaliatory tariffs and put on U.S. and cease pending litigation. Mexico also said it would set up measures to stop unfair trade practices in the aluminum and steel markets and to monitor trade of the metals in North America. See, and again, like, yo, fucking, everybody knows what these individuals are doing as they're standing here tariffing their goods, tariffing our goods in their fucking countries. So that basically they use their own steel products. And we should have free trade between our fucking neighbors, which would create more jobs for everybody concerned. That way they have, you know, if we make cheaper steel or better steel, whatever the case might be, they can use it and build things and sell it to the rest of the fucking world. This is how you build fucking economies. Trump referenced the tariff removal during the remarks Friday to the National Association of Realtors saying, I am pleased to announce we just reached an agreement with Canada and Mexico to sell products without the imposition of major tariffs. The Canadian and Mexican government, along with top U.S. lawmakers, have pushed the Trump administration to remove the tariffs before the countries approved the United States-Mexico-Canada agreement. President Donald Trump and Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau spoke earlier Friday about the duties on metals and the tariffs. 
Canada slapped on U.S. goods in retaliation, according to spokesman for Trudeau. Well, he knew he wasn't going to win that one. Now that we've had a full lift on these tariffs, we're going to work with the United States on timing for ratification of the USMCA, the Trudeau said after speaking with steelworkers on Friday. He said he is optimistic about moving forward with the agreement in coming weeks. Trump cited the national security threat when he put respective tariffs of 25 and 10 percent on steel and aluminum imports last year. When the White House decided not to exempt Canada and Mexico to U.S. neighbors and some members of Congress questioned why the allies posed a threat to the U.S. The deal could boost Trump's hopes of getting the USMCA one of his top po uh, policy priorities through Congress. Senate Finance Committee Chairman Chuck Grassley, Republican Iowa, among others, pushed him to remove the tariffs before lawmakers ratified a trade agreement. Lawmakers from both sides of the aisles cheered the de-escalation and tenses with Canada and Mexico. Grassley, an Iowa Republican, said the biggest hurdle to ratifying the USMCA has been lifted. Senator Ben Sass, Republican North uh, Nebraska, called the move great for America, great for our allies, and certainly great for Nebraska's agriculture industry. Senate Minority Leader Chuck Schumer, Democrat New York, said we should be focusing our effort on China, not on Mexico. Canada or Europe, <laughs> Mexico, Canada or Europe. But he added, there are still many other issues that are outstanding before the Democrats would support the USMCA. The, still, the deal still faces its challenges. Democrats have raised concerns about environmental and labor provisions, oh, for fuck's sake, in USMCA, as well as how it could affect drug prices in the U.S. Mexico, uh, U.S. Mexico. Yeah. Oh, Mexico passed a labor law last month in part to address these concerns. On Wednesday, U.S. Trade Representative Robert Leitzinger met with Canadian Foreign Minister uh, Christia Freeland, of course as a female. The negotiations were expected to discuss a process for removing the tariffs. The Trump administration aims to send paperwork to Congress soon, which should set up a vote on the USMCA before lawmakers leave for the entire month of August. The White House's recent escalation of a trade war with China rattled investors and raised concerns about damage to businesses and consumers. But developments Friday boosted markets. Before reports of the deal to remove steel and aluminum tariffs, the Trump administration said it would delay tariffs on imports of cars and auto parts from Europe, Japan, and other countries. It's a basic premise, folks. You know what I'm saying? Like, yo, look here. We need to be able to sell our goods in other countries. All right? That way, you know what? We're having other people buy our stuff, and we're manufacturing things, and it creates jobs here that are family-sustaining, decent jobs, and not garbage retail jobs working at fucking Uber or McDonald's or Wendy's or fucking some bullshit-ass fucking office in a call center, okay? These are actual jobs that you can be proud that you actually produced a good, and you did something for the whole world as a whole. It's a beautiful thing. In the meantime, man, yo, look, this is a bit of a short one, but fuck it. This is Tom P's of P. Doing News. Y'all know the deal. Peace be like one. Later.